What's up everybody? What's up YouTube nerds? It's Good Idea Gaming here, and I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about how to farm lots and lots of legendaries in Diablo. 50 to 60 legendaries in approximately 8 hours. And there are a few little secrets uh, that, that, that are involved in this, and I'm going to go ahead and talk about them a little bit. So, uh, the first little secret, I guess, it's not really that big of a secret, but Rifts give double the chance of getting legendaries compared to anywhere else in the game. So, if you're not farming Rifts, you're already kind of doing it wrong. Now, I'm not saying that doing bounties or playing the game is bad, but you're going to be getting a lot more legendaries per hour by running content in Rifts. Um, it just makes a huge difference, and you'll see that immediately when you start running Rifts, that legendaries will just start dropping instantly. Um, another secret, and this is a secret that I kind of picked up on in the past few days, is <clears throat> the last boss in a rift gives you lots of legendaries. It's several champion packs worth of loot, and it has a very high chance of dropping a legendary. Also, whenever you kill a boss, you're going to get a whole bunch of blood shards. Um, the higher the torment level you do, the more blood shards you're going to get. And a lot of the legendaries that you're going to get every single day are going to be from Kadala, and they're going to be with the blood shards that you actually earn. So you can kind of piece together the fact that the last boss gives you lots of legendaries, the last boss gives you blood shards, which give you lots of legendaries. You kind of understand that if you're farming the last boss in a rift over and over and over, you're going to be getting lots of legendaries all the time. Now, of course, it's not really reasonable to just, you know, ask people to invite you to kill the last boss over and over. But there is a community that can actually help you do that. And it can be a little bit hard to work through this community. There's so many people in it. People aren't really understanding. I mean, you got to be really, really quick. But you can still manage to get end boss kills in a rift over and over without actually having to run the rift. And I think you'll notice that you'll be getting a lot more legendaries per day while doing this. The community is called Rifted Forward. Um, it's on the uh, it's on the U.S. servers. There's actually three or four of them. I think there's also one on the EU servers. And the way that the community actually works is when you join, people are actually going to, uh, they're going to, we'll see if anything pops up while I'm actually making the video. That'd be terrible if it didn't, but, you know, YOLO swag 420. But um, people are going to be farming a rift, and they're going to let people know in the community when they're at the end boss. And what you do is when, uh, when they let you know that they're at the end boss, you immediately click on their name. You really have to be fast, and you hit the request party um, button. And what that does is you'll join their group and you'll go, look at this, T3 Rift Guardian, you open. And I'll go ahead and explain what that is in a second. But you join their group, you kill the last boss, you get the blood shards, you get the loot, a good chance of legendaries, and then you leave the game. But before you leave the game, usually people will invite three people to the game to get loot. One of those people has to open up the, um, one of those people actually has to open up the next rift. Um, I'm probably going to be too slow here. Let's see if I get in. I, it, you got to be really, really fast. So one person opens up the next rift, and everybody else gets that boss for free. It's pretty easy. It's pretty, you know, it's it's a great way to get lots of legendaries, boss kill, lots of blood shards, without actually having to do the rift itself. So um, the only downside is you need to make sure that you have some keystones, because you might actually have to open up the next rift. There are ways of being able to join groups so that you pretty much know that you're not going to be the last one or you're not going to be the one with the highest Paragon level because the, the party leader can ask somebody to open up the next rift, but a good part of the time, you're not actually going to have to open up the rift. But that's a great way to get lots and lots of boss kills really, really quickly. And lots of boss kills, lots of blood shards, lots of legendaries, um, quick, easy lots of loot, and um, you don't actually have to run the rift. And the, the community works the other way around. If you want to run a rift, uh, you can actually run the rift, go through the entire rift, get to the boss, and what you do is you, you type in the community and you say, you know, have three spots open, the highest paragon level opens. And what that does is you get to run rifts without ever having to use your own keystones because you invite people to the boss, you kill the boss, you know, two people leave for free, and then the one person who has the highest Paragon level, you get to set the conditions. The the last one to join or whatever gets to open up the next Rift, and you essentially get to run Rifts for free. So either way that you look at it, if you have Keystones, if you don't have Keystones, you know, it's a it's a win-win for everyone. And um, you'll notice on stream that that's how I'm getting like 60 to 70 Legendaries in 8 hours. It's just a ton of Legendaries because you're racking up so many Blood Shards you're racking up so many legendaries from the end boss, and it's just really, really fast. Um, so that's a great way to actually get lots of legendaries 
So that's one of my secrets right now. Um, if you've been watching the stream, twitch.tv slash goodideagaming, please follow, subscribe, and donate. But if you've been watching the stream, um, then you'll notice that I've been getting, I've been ending the day at like, uh, you know, 70-ish legendaries every single day, streaming for about seven, eight, eight hours a day, which is pretty good. That's 10 plus legendaries an hour. So that's one of my secret right now. Who knows how long this will last? Who knows if this is going to be the best way to get legendaries a month from now, but for now, it works pretty well, so um, I would recommend it. Join the community, uh, Rift It Forward, farm legendaries, get boss kills, get blood shards, and um, you know, rack up those legendaries because you'll be getting quite a few of them. And hopefully the days of getting three, four legendaries per day um, should be over for you if you start doing that. So thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Maybe go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube. It would really mean a lot to me. And uh, don't forget to check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash goodideagaming. So thank you everybody for watching. More videos coming out very soon. And I'll see all you nerds next time.